Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I hope it's uh, a beautiful one over there. I know it is in my neck of the woods. I got myself a uh, cup of coffee, smashed the morning run, and I'm, uh, I'm off to the races, baby. Let's go. So, appreciate all of you tuning in. Uh, my last couple of videos put me up like 1,900 subscribers, and so I think I've kind of found what I want to lean into and who, who I'm kind of resonating with and some of the value that I can add here with this YouTube channel. And to be fully transparent, the reason I started this YouTube channel is because I really wanted to just meet people uh, and kind of build out my network that way and see what other people are building. And, and so far, it's been a lot of fun. So let's crack into it. The app that I built, if you're not familiar, go watch that. I'm going to put it above. That was called BB Run Live. And I did 410 active subscriptions at $24.99 uh, a year. And so is it going to make me rich? Absolutely not. But it was completely vibe coded. And I come from a traditional background. CS, I was in programming since I was 14, got my CS degree, went to Lockheed Martin, was a software engineer for four years there. Uh, and I've left since, you know, the last couple of years doing my own endeavors. But what I really want to emphasize is that we've got two camps in the marketplace right now. And, and before I talk about that, what I'm going to say is I'm going to be kicking off a series here. And what I'm going to do is show you how you can actually vibe code real products that real products, how to actually do it. And I'm going to run you through the next product I'm going to be building. Unfortunately, I won't be able to launch it until next year, but I've got data for commercial fishermen in Bristol Bay on an app. And now we're going to run that over to Southeast and Prince William Sound in Alaska. And we're going to, you're going to cook with me and I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. And I'm going to explain to you how I do it versus what's currently being portrayed on social media. Because I think people are really, there are some guys who, who got it. Um, there's Rex daily video uploads. This guy's, this guy gets it. Um, I'll, I'll put him below, but Basically, we've got two two camps here. We've got non-technical, okay, and then we've got the software engineer. And so, essentially, what happens is you've got the non-technical person who's trying to vibe code, and they get 90% of the way there. And what ends up happening is this last 10%, you can't get there. You put in this long prompt, it looks good, and it something like a lovable or a base 44 or a replit spits out a product for you and you're pretty hyped, right? You're pretty hyped, it looks good. As soon as you try to finish that last 10%, you realize how much of a disaster it is. As soon as you wanna actually go to production, you realize, oh, this thing's not ready. Uh, bugs galore, hmm, doesn't work. Then we've got software engineers who, you know, try to vibe code and they see, you know, like an API key go into client side code and they scream to the high heavens as to how bad vibe coding is and programming with LLMs. And it's really unfortunate. I don't understand this because I'm building products not only for myself but my clients through vibe coding. But there's a way, right? There is a technique and there's an approach. And it is not through putting in you know, your paragraph into Lovable or Replit or one of these things and knowing how to prompt that better. That is not what that is. We need to have our hands a little bit closer to the fire and manage our, our wood in there and so that way we can, we can cook the, the perfect s'more. Terrible analogy, but I'm rolling with it because I had s'mores this weekend. And uh, we actually did these like Reese's Thins that's the way to go. Chocolate, oh, that's the way to go. Probably gonna do it again this weekend. Okay, anyway, so, so, so the question is like, can you build real product, add value to the world vibe coding? Um, and so this bubble here is what I wanna show you. It's a hard yes, I do it. I build for my clients. I literally just landed a client yesterday. Um, you know, I mean, this is how I make my living, right? So, so the answer is yes. And I, coming from a formal background, like I do not write code anymore. I haven't written a variable in months, right? I just haven't. Um, haven't written, haven't declared a function, haven't written a class, haven't, I don't, I, don't, I do not write code. 
I, I just want to get that very clear. I do not write code anymore. But because I have enough of a technical background, I know how to guide these LLMs to get what I want. And ultimately what this comes down to is just high level systems thinking. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you through a product that I'm gonna monetize, well, two more products that I'm gonna monetize for the Alaska fisheries. Dude, do I even know how to spell what's going on here? Um, and you could literally steal this from me and try to compete with me, but I'm gonna vibe code it for you. I'm gonna show you how to do it. And ultimately, what it centered, what 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 it's centered around is systems thinking. So, vibe coding equals systems thinking. And this is where I'm going to come in and help support you folks who want to actually build products for their own, maybe it's an internal tool for their business or what have you, build those products and actually get something that's working to production. Or maybe it's for client work, it's it's software, right? I mean, the the need for software in the new age, I think is close to unlimited, um, especially as we just build personalized software for any and everything. So with that, I'm gonna kick off the next series about we're gonna take the app I'm gonna build, we're gonna break it down, and I'm gonna show you how I actually build it. So I look forward to kicking this one off and I'll know exactly which one we start. But if you're not familiar, I'm gonna give you a little precursor here. Whoops. Um. Oh, and if you want to look up the app, it's called BB Run Live in the App Store. Go check that out. Um, you can see that product. Oh, um, and just so you guys know, I'm not like flubbing around. If you haven't seen my the prior videos, go watch those. But we ended up closing it out at 410 subscriptions this year, 24.99 a piece. You can do that math. So it's a nice little side project to have in your back pocket. Doesn't hurt anything. All right, so Prince William Sound, Copper River, for example. All right, so here's the app that we're gonna be building together, that we're gonna be vibe coding together. So basically, this tab in the Alaska Department of Fish and Game, we're gonna be focused on the SAM tab, and then we're gonna be focused on these tabs right here. So we're gonna be providing them the announcements. This lets them know, hey, when can I fish? Where can I fish? Details surrounding that. All the information regarding what's happening with current harvest, um, how boats are doing. Let's see if this thing loads. Come on. Okay, I'm not gonna wait for that. Okay, see what happens here. Right, so we're gonna be extracting this sort of information and, and displaying it nicely. Um, see, management, we already talked about that. Um, forecast, what we'll do is we'll do like what's happening in season versus what was forecasted. So fishermen can kind of understand how far along um, the catch is in the fishery and kind of what to expect. And so we're going to be taking all this and putting it into an app. So again, this is systems thinking, but it's not, it's not hard in terms of like, you just need to know the bigger picture. And then once you know a part within that system, you just need to know like, oh, well that's just a database in Superbase. Oh, that's just, that part of the system is just a Python script that's gonna sit on some server somewhere. Oh, right, and so like, is it ch crazy hard? Not even a little bit, not even, anyone can do this. And I'm gonna show you, um, and you're gonna cook alongside me. So I'm excited to kick off this series. This is the intro and Hopefully we can build up this app portfolio to, you know, 25, 30K or so, something like that for next year. That could be pretty fun. So cheers. I'm going to uh, head into the rest of my work here and uh, hope you have a good one.